This is Charlie for Topic. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the optical wireless triggering system of the SB5000 Speedlight from Nikon. If you're familiar with Nikon Speedlights, you hopefully have heard before of the CLS or Creative Lighting System. That's basically an optical wireless triggering system with full control for your Nikon Speedlights. Now, luckily, this new SB5000 is fully compatible with the older flashes like the SB900 and SB910 and you can still trigger them remotely using the optical wireless setup or this one can act as a slave that can be triggered optically by an older flash. Most important when you set up this is always make sure that this little window on the side of your remote flashes or slave units somehow points back to your master flash right there. Unfortunately, this system is a little bit limited. It's limited by distance and also ambient brightness levels. That's why this system usually fails if we use it outdoor in bright sunlight or if anything interferes with the direct line of sight, we have triggering issues. In another video, I'll show you guys how to set up the new radio triggering system on the SB5000, which is awesome and basically circumvents this whole issue of line of sight. Now to set this all up is fairly straightforward as we had on the um, older flash systems. Basically just switch your flash on, your slave flash, and first deal with that and switch it on the power selection switch to the remote position. And in there it should say remote at the top. And using this new wireless basically option button down here we can cycle through the different remote options we have. So here we go. This is our normal optical remote mode. So we have a little snake with a lightning bolt. So that's now ready to receive an optical signal on the side to trigger the flash. Press it again. We have remote direct. That's basically your old SU4 system. That's basically just a straightforward, you can call it a dumb optical trigger. And then here we have a setup for the new radio system. So we have a little snake with a Wi-Fi icon. We'll deal with this in another video. So for now I'm just going to press this button again so I can get back to our optical wireless menu setup. Right, so in here we can use the new I button. It's a quick shortcut to set up our channels. And choose one. I'm going to press I again and I'm going to assign a group to this flash. I'm going to assign it to group A. Right, so that's it. Slave's been set up, ready to be triggered. So how do we set up the SP5000 as a master flash? It's easy, just make sure it's in the on position on the power selection dial. And then simply press this wireless option button. And until you get to this little menu, it gives you a snake option and a lightning bolt. If you have the radio trigger attached, you'll actually be able to access the radio features as well. In this case, we don't have that. So the only one we've got available is a little lightning bolt with a snake. And in here, those of you familiar with the system will see quite a familiar little menu. So we can assign the master slave a specific mode, and we can assign a specific mode to each of the groups. So at the moment, it's all set up to TTL. And let's just double check. I'm in channel one. And I've got group A set to TTL. If you want to change any of that, just press your I button and you can change the channel. Or if you press that again, go down, assign a specific mode to the master or a specific mode to any of your groups, A, B, or C. Right. And yeah, let's keep it on TTL. Let's see if it works. So there we go, this little remote did fire. I have the beeping option switched on, so I can actually hear that it's going off. One of the big changes in this flash is that they've made it easier to access certain features. So we can easily change the master mode that we're in on this flash by simply tapping here on the side of the selection dial. So right now we have 
can access a new mode that's basically, if you're familiar with Canon, called Ratio, where you can set up a ratio between your Group A and Group, group B, or Nikon now calls it the Quick Wireless Setup. Hmm. Now, just please note that if you're using this setup, you can set a ratio but quickly between Group A and Group B, but the master flash is deactivated and won't fire during the actual exposure. Which is nice, but a little bit of a pain. But in any case, uh, it's really quick and handy to assign a ratio between your groups. And to change it, just press the I button. And in here, we can now change the ratio between A and B. And it's got a handy bar to show you which one is becoming stronger and which one is becoming weaker. Another handy shortcut to one of our modes, as we press the mode button on the side, we can actually enter our repeat mode. So right now we can set up our master, give us a repeat burst of flash, as well as the slave. And again, it's really straightforward to set up by pressing the I button there. We have an access to everything we want to change. And we can in here switch our master on and off. So in this case, I'm going to switch the master off. I'm going to leave the slave on and it's going to fire 10 bursts basically at a tenth of a second interval. So let's see if it works. Oh, for it to work. I'm obviously just going to have to use a slower shutter speed to give the flash time to react. And to fire, so I'm just going to set this now to, let's set it to two seconds and see what happens. Here we go. Do it again. So at the moment, the master didn't fire, but the slave gave me a little bit of a repeat burst. Awesome. That was the setup for the SB5000 to be used in an optical wireless triggering system. Luckily, it's backwards compatible. Awesome, thanks for that, Nikon. In another video, I'll show you guys how to set up the radio triggering.